sensational play. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? That is cranked. Deep left. Leaves. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Krohn of a long ball. Wow. You bet you, Tyler Clifford. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball toward short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. Here's the 0-2. Swung on. There goes the deep left. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Matt Harvey is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What do you have for us on him, H? Matt, he's in a great groove right now. The last three outings, ERA under one. So he's been very stingy. Team having a chance to be in every game. He needs to get some run production and then probably get some wins. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He'll begin things here against Matt Harvey. Hey. Fastball in there, three and two. Temperature here at game time, 61 degrees. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. Hard liner toward short. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. That's what you want your leadoff hitter to do every time. He wastes a lot of pitches, makes the pitcher work, then to cap it off, he drives one for a double. That might be one of the best at bats we'll see all game long. In now is Adam Eaton. One of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. And he's retired one away. A moment now to take a look at the visiting Washington Nationals. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. Ready now, Daniel Murphy. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Here it is on three and one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ligaris ranging back at the track. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. A great the right job there by this power hitter. Known right. for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Hard hit ball to second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. That ball's right in his wheelhouse. Man, pitcher got lucky. He had a screaming line drive. Had he lifted it, he'd be jogging right now. For
In now, Anthony Rendon. And he puts it on the ground to second. Flores to his left. He's there. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for the Nationals. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Nationals one. The Mets coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Joe Ross is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Nationals. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's been good. He's had a solid season. If you look at his strikeout to walk ratio, it's two to one. So that means he's around the plate. He's going to continue to dominate a little bit. But I think the key for him to continue to be successful is stay on the same mindset, pitch by pitch, inning by inning. We'll see if he executes that in this game. Here's the one and one delivery. Aye. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. One and two, here it comes. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, he gets a hanging slider and does a nice job of driving this ball the other way. Great piece of hitting. The shortstop has dribble. Cabrera. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Harold, these nationals as they enter play here tonight, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. You got to have a short term memory, and you really do. The game's over, you can't do anything about it. You got to come back today and play better and win. Michael Conforto. At the plate, Michael Conforto. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Has a look, now the pitch. Ah, oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The one and two pitch. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Eaton is there now, and he has it. Two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. That Digging in now, Yoenis right. Cespedes. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. One and one, here it comes. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. That's a fastball right down the middle. Now, you might be able to get away with it in the first inning. Guys are still filling him out. But if he's going to have success in this game, Matt, he's going to have to be on the corners with that fastball. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Nationals lead it one to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Adam Lind. As we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Cespit is going back at the track. The wall gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot that time for Adam Lind. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And the Nationals move out in front here, two to nothing.
Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Settling in now, Jason Ward. And this is a good-looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right-handers this season. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Cabrera there for this one is short. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And in the outfield, Michael Conforto. He's had to learn how to play on the corners. He was a center fielder in college, but now playing on the corners, he's had to learn all the angles. But it looked like he caught on quick. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now hitting at an even 220 on the year. Bases are empty one man out. Hey, Looked like he got fooled on the speed there two and two. Outside and a full count three and two. After two breaking pitches there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. So it was a strikeout swinging. Nice. Matt Wieters goes down 40. for out number two in the top half. Standing in now, Joe Ross. Chopped weakly to the left. There to get it is right. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One in the inning for the Nationals on the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's 2-0 Washington. Stepping up now, Wilmer Flores. And he's really been feeling it at the plate the last week or so. Definitely one player to keep your eye on right now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So a base hit to kick things off here. And there's a man aboard to start out there half of the second. Well, that base hit right there extends his streak to nine games. Now we've been watching him. It's a couple series now. He's starting to swing the bat. You got to start paying attention to this guy. He's getting hot. Standing in, David Wright. On the season, he's hitting just over 290 coming into action here. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And a good 0-2 pitch there, but right able to lay off to make it a ball and two strikes. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. Leaping and he makes a terrific catch as he bangs into the wall. All right, here's how the Nats line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Bryce Harper, you know, when he first broke into the league when he was 19, 20 years old, he was running around like a crazy man all over the place, like a little jackrabbit. Out of control. He's calmed it down now, and he's really become a nice outfielder. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. From the belt, the pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. Stepping in now. T.J. Rivera, no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All right, let's go. 
Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Great tilt on the slider on the inside corner. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Matt Harvey. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. You know, this isn't a ballpark that yields a lot of runs, so when you've got a chance like this to put some early runs on the board, it becomes really important to do so. Harper has a read on it, and that retires the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More in a moment on this Friday night. You're watching MLB Network. Matt Vaskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And starting out the inning, it'll be the exciting speedster Trey Turner. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. This one is launched. Look at this out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot down the line in right. 19th home run for him on the season as the Nats move out in front now three to nothing. Yeah, I can remember when leadoff hitters were these little speedy guys who would try to leg out little numbers or draw walks. Well, that time has passed, and guys like this, with pop at the plate, can sometimes go deep as well as anybody in the lineup. Into the box now, Adam Eaton. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. In now, Daniel Murphy. That's lifted the other way out to left. Conforto has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Ready on one and two. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right and this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Stepping in now Anthony Rendon and he puts it on the ground to second throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Nationals able to add on thanks to the long ball. Bottom of the third coming up. It's 3 0 Washington. Here's Juan Ligares. He'll match up now with Joe Ross to lead off the inning. That's He's fallen three. behind now, 3 and 1. Yep. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. 
And good patience exercised as he works out to walk to lead off the home half of the third. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Ready with two balls and a strike. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, he walked the first batter to the inning. Now he finds himself down in 3-1 count. I tell you what, he's in danger right here. He's got to throw strikes and get back in this thing because walking and bad counts adds up to a big inning for the offense. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And that misses. Ball four, and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. Hey. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Joanna Cespedes is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And now everybody's running. Hit hard on the ground at first. One there. On to Lind. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's Adam Lind. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Here it comes on one and one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. Now here's the pitch. And this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0-2. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Flores into shallow center. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting. Matt Riding in once Weeders. again, Matt Weeders. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Weeders awaits the 1 1. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Boy, Matt, we're watching him have great success on that exploding fastball at the top of the zone. And I'm telling you right now, you can't catch up to that. It looks great to you coming in, but you have to get your bat in the position to get on top of it. And it's just too hard to do all those things and think you're going to square it up. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will return tire the side three up three down for Washington but they lead it three nothing here's the third baseman David Wright comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game one and one here it comes looking at strike two a fastball that catches the inside corner Ready to deliver the one and two. 
tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2 two -two now to right. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. And an unlucky start to the fourth that time as the leadoff man is set down. Darno. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Travis Darno. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. If you're able to locate your fastball like that, you're going to have a good game. I'm not surprised to look up and say he's having a good game right now because he's been spotting that fastball pretty good most of the game. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. That is a great two-strike approach. Spread his legs out, up kept the hands the back, and just punched the ball baseline. through for a ground ball Peter base hit. Rivera. Into the box, T.J. Rivera. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Eaton is there, two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. So a stepping in, Matt Harvey. 0 for 1 for him Matt here in this one. Harvey. A runner on first with two away. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Worth is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One hit, one left. We played four full. The Nationals are out in front here, three to nothing. Into the box now, Joe Ross. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Line to the right side. But he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first down. Number seven. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Three runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Into the box now, Adam Eaton. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Conforto is under it, and that's the third out. Nationals gone in order. They lead it three to nothing. Here's Juan Ligares as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Bounce slowly back toward the mound. No problem here, one away. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that these guys currently find themselves fourth in the NL in that category. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Outside, two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Well, they're still in this game. You know, if they can get somebody on, a broken bat, a blooper, a bunt, and then go for the big ball, they can get something going. But they've got to start with getting somebody on base. This offense needs a base runner and get things happening. In now, Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. One and two now as this catches the outer half. 
Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. Left field and deep. Worth racing back to the track, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Oh, he's just swinging the bat beautifully. What confidence to come to the ballpark knowing you got a great streak going to swing the bat well. It's fun watching him right now. Here's your one Cespedes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. In for strike two. Hits are even right now at five aside. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He hit a sack fly earlier. The 1 1 on its way to Murphy. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. That was a good right job finger. tying him up inside on that strikeout right. pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Here's Bryce Harper now. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. And here's a ball hit in the air, right in foul ground, and he makes the catch for the second out. Third in now is Anthony, Anthony Rendon. Rendon. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Two out, nobody on. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double not to take anything away from him. But I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah that's one of those gift pitches not the location he was shooting for. Adam Lind will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at a solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. One and two, here it comes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here's the 2 2 home to Lynn. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. The 2 2 one more time. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one sent foul. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Nationals leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Ready for another chance? Wilmer Flores. He's one for two in the ball game. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Worth is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in once again, David Wright. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Oh. 
good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Wright will take the turn and head for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Well, Matt, that's the sixth game. He's got a base hit in now. You got to start a streak somewhere. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging back pretty good. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Last time through was a base hit. Both teams with six hits so far. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Whoa, hit that one a little bit too hard. Line drive single, but the runner at second had to hold up, so he's not going to score, but nice piece of hitting anyway. Standing in now, T.J. Rivera takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute and hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Well, oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. I like the pitch. It just missed. That's a sweeping slider. That thing is nasty. Try to get him to chase it. I might even come back with it again. He's set. Here's the two-two. Fouled straight back. Runners are at first and third, one away. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. He's set. Here's the three and two. Runner goes for second. Hit out towards second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now batting. Catcher. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington manager, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left to board, but he cannot lose this one. Joe Nathan Joe is on Nathan. now yet again this season as this will be his 95th appearance of the year. Wow. Thank Brandon Nimmo will get the call Number here nine. as he'll hit for the pitcher. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We're through six full. It's the Nationals three, and the Mets one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Nationals on top in this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's check out the game summary to see how we got here. Hansel Robles will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Number 47, Ansel Robles. Here's Jason Ward. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another payoff pitch. 
And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Rivera is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now batting, catcher. Here's the Matt catcher, Matt Wieters, Wieters now. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3 to 1 our score. Pulled toward right center field. There to pull it in, Ligaris, and there are two away now. Ryan Zimmerman will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. Line drive to left. But this is right to him in left as he hardly has to move as he handles it for the final out. Three up, three down for Washington as the lead remains three to one. Blake Trinan gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Here's Juan Ligares. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the 3 and 0 pitch. And that one right down Main Street. 3 and 1, here it is. A high fastball is in there. Well, that was unexpected. You're looking for the sinker down. He throws a fastball up. Now he's just changed the game on you. He, he... A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Eaton ranging back. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Ready for another shot now. As Drubal Cabrera over two with a walk for him so far. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. Even at two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a swing, and Cabrera blasts this one out to deep left field. Gone! A solo shot here to left. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And the Mets have made this a 3-2 ball game. a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys but he's getting hot here in September that bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October we'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most your attention please now so they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up In now, Michael Conforto. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light shift. Slap hard the opposite way, and that is down as that could be two bases. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. Man, that swing looked like self defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. A throw behind the runner at second. Runner's back. Runner at second here with one man out. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. A curveball that catches the inside corner. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Grounded weakly toward third. Rendon ranges to his left. In time to first, and there are two away. 
Ready once again, Wilmer Flores, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Called strike on the sinker two and two now. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here. So a two run shot to left center home run number nine on the year as they take the lead four to three. Pitch was grooved right down Main Street. He couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Into the box now, David Wright takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Ready on one and two. Ball two. Three runs already home here. Line hard down the line and right. Just foul. Outside in a full count three and two. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Murphy's got it. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Mets four and the Nationals three. Jerry Blevins has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Jerry Levin. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Trey Turner. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Takes this the other way to right. Cespedes is there and he'll bring this one in. Great game here. Four and three are score as we take the opportunity to compare the performances turned in by the two starters. In now is Adam Eaton. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. And this is fouled at the plate. Saws him off here as this ball is popped into the air. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Daniel Murphy. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit. Possibly more. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, come on, man. Eighth inning. He was getting me nervous. This looked like this might be his last at bat and his last opportunity. And now with the possible tying run at second here, we're going to have a pinch runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. Stepping in now, Bryce Harper. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. 
even at two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit down the line at first. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Throw into second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. I love the late inning at bats when you come up clutch Third right baseman, there. Big hits six. tie this game. Anthony Rendon. In now, Anthony Rendon. He swings and runs it to short. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself. And his teammates are pumped up as well. Standing in now, Adam Lind. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Nationals on top, five to four. Trevor Gott will come on now and make now his 55th Washington. appearance of the year. Number 26, Trevor Gott. Stephen Drew will come on defensively Nashville. now as he takes now over at second. second base, number 10, Stephen Drew. Digging in and looking for more, Travis Darno. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's the one and one pitch. A fastball right over the outside corner. Ready to deliver the one and two. This is line to left. Worth has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented the tying run. Into the box now, T.J. Rivera called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard to short. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Well, it's late in the game. That was a big base hit right there. Now you have the tying run on first base. The question is, are you going to pinch hit for your pitcher? I think we'll see a pinch hit. Will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number seven, Jose Reyes. Runner at first here, one man out. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Eaton racing back. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Center fielder, now with the 12. plate, Juan Ligares. He Long flew time. out in his last at bat. Full count, here it comes. Hit on the ground to short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Mets leave one, and the deficit holds at five to four. Now, beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Jerry Spamilia enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Here, Jason Ward, lifetime against Familia. Five for 14. He's taken him deep once. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Stepping in now, Matt Wieters. Swing and a line drive. 
but that's a foul ball. Ready on one and two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. The pitcher, Not the game he was hoping to have when he was Trevor. taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Jose Lobatone will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Can't do much with that one. It's one and two. The one-two pitch. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And another foul ball. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Struck him out. So it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts, not too shabby. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. You're Sean like Kelly play. comes on looking now for a save for here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 27, Sean Kelly. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. His past history with Sean Kelly, he's gone two for six. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he lays off for a ball. 2-1. and one. Hit sharply on the ground. Drew's got it. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. The left fielder, number 30. Trying to pick things up Michael where he left Conforto. off. Michael Conforto. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Here it comes on 3-0. and oh. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Runners on first with one down. And there he goes towards second. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that ball is. It's a two-run shot here for Joanna Cespedes. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Wow, everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. some damage offensively in this one enough to get the win and this man led the charge he's our tops player of the game yeah he came through with a multi hit game and more importantly they were big hits he was a key contributor to the outcome of this one and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left. 
20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat, a ringing double off the 375 marker, and we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr.